know, we read the book, The Paper Bag Princess. And the main character in our story is a girl named Elizabeth. When a reader uses a clue in a story to figure out something that is not stated directly, the reader is making an inference. What inference can you make? An inference I, I can make is that she is um, standing up for herself because um, she doesn't let him boss um, her around. A CCC for us has had a big impact on our school. It's allowed us to have a common teaching tool that really all students can access in our school. There's the being a reader portion, which really focuses on the foundational reading skills, phonics, word work, letters, sounds, shared reading. There's making meaning, which is the comprehension component of uh, the curriculum. So students are engaged in a mentor text, working with their teacher and classmates on comprehending different text features, elements from within a story, and then applying that in their own reading during their independent reading time. Um, there's also being a writer, which is the writing portion of the curriculum. And inside of all of that, there's vocabulary support um, and different learning supports that are familiar from a um, whole reader perspective. CCC is very much student focused instead of being teacher focused. So what that means is that teachers are asking um, open-ended questions and students are making meaning about those questions in a kind of stair-step approach. So they'll ask an open-ended question. What helped you explain your thinking? The kids will respond and then there'll be another question that increases in cognitive rigor. What can you do if you do not understand an idea that someone shares? In the CCC curriculum, every student has an opportunity to make meaning and express their thinking multiple times a day. We teach students um, to model how we can have conversations, how we show respect for one another, and how we know that someone is really listening to us. So it might be you look at the student in the eye, you make yourself go knee to knee with another student, you ask a probing question, you ask a question for clarification. All of those techniques are signals that we are actually listening to one another and we care about what the other person says. The CCC within a classroom community allows all students to be able to access the reading curriculum from different vantage points. There's reading, there's writing, but there's also discussion. There's also storytelling and verbalization. There's lots of entry points for lots of different types of learners. Well, sometimes we have to share our partner's thinking, so um, that helps other people like, understand what they're thinking. And then maybe like if you like what they say, then you can say that. And um, like if like you were thinking that thing, but like it added more detail, then you could just say that. Through the CCC curriculum and open-ended questions, students get to share their backgrounds, their stories, their thinking, based on what their experiences are. So they bring their whole selves to that experience. Having a common curriculum that allows teachers to really focus in on students drives that equity work. It really allows them to spend more time thinking about what do individual students need and how do I help support and provide that.